The latest development in this case comes 22 years after the murders of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman. If it is the knife that was used to kill them, does it really change anything legally? News Channel 3's Vicki Nguyen talked with a Santa Barbara lawyer about that tonight. Vicki. CJ, even if that knife turned out to be the murder weapon, it will not affect O.J. Simpson because of a legal principle called double jeopardy. Uh, the kids need you. I've already said goodbye to my kids. Listen, no, we're not going to say goodbye to your kids. Oh, you're going yeah. to see them again. Friday, June 17th, 1994. I can't take this. Oh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Many people you still can. remember what they were doing and where they were when O.J. Simpson led Highway Patrol on a slow chase pursuit in his white Bronco. Uh, hey, it's going to be better tomorrow. Get rid of the gun. When we got home, we saw all the highlights on the news. Craig Smith, a superior court commissioner in Santa Maria at the time, was out at dinner with his family. I really thought it was uh, his guilty conscience that was chasing him that he was running away from. O.J. Simpson returned to the headlines with the recent premiere of a show revolving around his notorious trial, The People vs. O.J., and the finding of the possible murder weapon. I think it's very interesting because that was been the, one of the missing pieces all along. So that certainly is one more factor that would point to his guilt. Even if the examination of the knife comes back positive, it's too late to convict him. Most people are familiar with the concept of double jeopardy. And that is if someone's accused of a crime and they stand trial and they are acquitted, that is found not guilty of the crime, they can't ever be retried. Right. There are uh, no Mr. exceptions. Uh, if there's evidence that this indeed was a murder exactly. weapon, it's going to be di very difficult to live with that. But at the same time, it does protect all of the rest of us from the tyranny of a prosecutor who's vindictive. The retired police officer who recently turned over the knife could face misdemeanor charges, depending on the statute of limitations. If he had reason to believe that that could be relevant evidence, he would be under a duty or obligation to turn that over. While everyone is waiting to find out if the knife is the murder weapon, O.J. Simpson is serving time in Nevada for a 2008 armed robbery and kidnapping. Simpson is up for parole late next year. Live in Santa Barbara, Vic Nguyen, News Channel 3.